Hey there, lonely internet masturbators, and it seems that you have stumbled upon Turned On, U of M's foremost authority on all things sexy, dirty, and in-between. I'm your host, Sean. And I'm your other host, Josh. Today, I shaved and I was carded for a PG-13 movie. And now it's time for my personal favorite segment, Sex in the News. Our first story of the day is about a topic I'm sure all of you are very familiar with. It's close to your heart, and it's important in our homes. Porn. For the very first time, Megacam is giving people the option of masturbating to someone you know and love without their consent. Megacam is a new search engine that allows people to upload a picture of literally anyone, and Megacam will find a lookalike on their site, which is not invasive or creepy at all. You know, I was looking to expand my Kim Jong-un porn collection, and I'm glad Megacam introduced this, because it makes it a lot easier for me. Well, sorry every teacher I've ever had. This one's on me. Oh, Sean. <laughs> now, what would happen if you introduced a picture of yourself to that search engine? Would you want to do that? Is that something that would we push the bounds of reality almost? Is this like interstellar? You know? I think man has done every frontier. Space, the ocean, it's time to expand our minds and do the final frontier, personal porn lookalikes. I've always wanted to see what would happen if I had sex with someone, ever. <laughs> now for our next story, two Vietnamese students needed to be taken to the hospital after having sex uh, for the first time and using a plastic bag as a condom. The duo were treated for genital lesions, abrasions, and bleeding. Apparently the male was too shy to go out and buy some condoms. Seems like they should have chosen paper on that one. <sighs> Yeah, but really, they probably should have used paper bags because they're biodegradable and better for the environment than plastic. That's really just selfish at that point. We are a green community here. Here at Turned On, we do believe environment is number one behind safe sex. So if you're going to do it, double band it. Just kidding. That would be a terrible thing to recommend. But I think this was one of Al Gore's... Um, Running points uh, in, in 2000. Uh, 2000. Yeah, it's, I think biodegradable condoms. I think that's why he actually lost Florida uh, <laughs> in a hanging chat. I'm pretty sure they were like, no, we need to use garbage bags. We need to use Ziploc bags with like the locks on the top, you know? Or if we run out of options, we're just going to use like a balloon and a, a rubber band or something. Well, Florida, thank God we're not there. <laughs> Great. So, folks, don't forget to buy condoms. And if you're shy, Pick them up at UHS for free, and don't forget to tune in every week for U of M's best and only sex talk show. Stay sexy, folks.